already have a question. <coughs> I have a question, uh, especially concerning the sulfur uh, in uh, uh, the sulfur aerosol proposal, because as far as I'm aware, there's a very big discussion going on on whether or not it would actually have influence on the ozone hole, and we are not sure what the increased aerosol production would do to cloud formation and pattern weather pattern. Is there some new work on? that mitigates those worries about using sulfur aerosols as a way to climate mitigation? Yeah, you, you proposed it, right? An opinion to my presentation? Yes. I, I feel that I didn't discuss o about ozone. Uh, here we are not talking about ozone in the present uh, uh, situation. We are trying to, to uh, use uh, uh, a different method of using... I agree. Uh, uh, using uh, 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 natural gas in such a way that CO2 emission are eliminated. And we have done it experimentally, it works, we get the result. At the laboratory scale is a success, it's a very simple method. It can be industrialized in my view and should presumably get industrialized. And then it will provide us a, an alternative in complement to the renewables, which is the one of trying to uh, produce uh, from natural gas, which is uh, the richest of hydrogen, uh, a signal which is uh, financially acceptable with no CO2 emission. I, I, I agree, and I, I think that is, a, that is a very, very high plus in this proposal, but the critical view that usually gets raised with aerosols in our atmosphere is that it would actually change the weather pattern and the cloud uh, fraction, and we really don't have enough understanding of what it would do on a global scale. And so I'm just asking whether or not there is some new research that I we're trying to address. I have described number, another number of other alternatives, which involve, for instance, emission of SO2 into the atmosphere, or production of, uh, or, or production of, uh, if you like, of, uh, of uh, carbon sequestration, uh, which are two solutions which, in my opinion, are not acceptable. Now, not acceptable because if they have to be able to be a, give a very large uh, contribution in order to be effective, and also because they cause problems, and one of the problems is certainly the one, as you mentioned, the fact that the stratosphere uh, will be occupied by a lot of gases, mostly CO2 or H2S, which are uh, sulfur-prone uh, materials, which will, in fact, very quickly reduce the temperature of the Earth and eliminate the weather, and the, 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 the global warming for the time during which they are on. But they have to continuously to re-emit it every year. If you stop re-emitting, you go back where you started from at the beginning. So for me, this solution, as I said at the beginning, representing uh, uh, alternatives of uh, geoengineering are, in my view, uh, not acceptable. And many people are convinced in the same way. And uh, the reason is the only way out is to control the, the, the situation uh, from the, of the CO2 from the beginning. And the way in which I think it's a valuable alternative is the one to do, to use uh, some uh, fossil, if you have to use some fossil, because you cannot live without fossil, I believe, in the next decades, uh, given the circumstances, it would be the one of producing fossils with different methods, a method in which you, you eliminate the, the CO2, replacing with black carbon, which is a solid material, uh, ma construction material, which can be separated out, and provide you about 60% uh, of the energy that you otherwise you would find uh, by burning completely the, the, the na natural gas. And this there seems to me a, a very interesting alternative, which is not very well studied. We have done development activity uh, within uh, Germany. We are continuing this activity in China nowadays, and it looks as if such a possibility does exist in such a way that you can industrialize at low cost, in a simple way, the, uh, the amount of natural gas by removing completely the, the, the name, the presence, the, the consequence of, uh, of CO2. And that it will be a very important step forward towards having uh, a, a, an alternative conditions to other conditions. Obviously, there's not only one way in which we are going to fix 
the situation of the climate. It was discussed this morning by the previous speaker, the necessity of maintaining a higher efficiency of uh, build buildings and uh, higher efficiency uh, in the way in which we're doing all kinds of different things. And one of the, certainly one of the things will be the one who takes some methane and produce methane with no CO2 in it. Because that will be as valuable, as long as it lasts, as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as renewable energy when it comes to the effects of, uh, uh, on the environment. And since the amount of natural gas which you have around is very large and is growing every day, and there are still a lot of things like clot rates which are still ha ha waiting to be used, uh, it would seem to us that uh, there is plenty of natural gas for uh, many, many centuries to come. And why not using that uh, CO2 with no emission of, of carbon? Uh, of, uh, why we're emitting, non using this uh, methane with no emission of CO2? If so, I think he, nobody will object about this uh, alternative as a one of many alternative solutions. So, Carlo, oh, sorry. You're first. What? Go ahead. Uh, I didn't hear you mention the importance of reduction of carbon dioxide. I think in chemistry today, one of the challenging problems that many of us are working on and people are promoting is the reduction of carbon dioxide to something useful, you can maybe methanol, whatever. So I think that is a very important problem, both photochemical, electrochemical, there are various ways of uh, uh, reducing carbon dioxide. And that, I think that is something, I don't know, you, you didn't mention it, I think. Uh, but decomposition of methane, I'm a bit worried about that, getting tons of carbon as, uh, uh, to store again, I think, again, conversion of methane, methane to something useful is better than uh, decomposing methane to carbon and hydrogen. Uh, hydrogen, I think we can get by other means, uh, not necessarily by decomposing methane. What is that? You said, I, I can not hear you because the sound is very unclear in this position. Uh, I, you heard about carbon dioxide reduction. You d it was not mentioned by you. I think that is one of the most important problems of chemistry today, reduction of carbon dioxide to something very useful. Did you understand what he said? He's saying that the reduction of it? carbon dioxide to something useful is one of the most important chemistry problems. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> this, is a, this is, in fact, one of the parts. Because uh, the point is that uh, if you start with natural gas and you concentrate on hydrogen, you produce a gas. There are many applications in which a gas is not acceptable. Now, there is the alternatives that we, many people have looked at, all of us look at, we are looking at, etc., in which we are taking, uh, uh, combining with already spent, already used CO2, CO2 which already existed, uh, already made, recover that CO2. Eventually, one day, we may even recover CO2 from the atmosphere if you feel you want to do it. But this is not necessary now because we have millions of tons of CO2 which are there, already there, to, ready to be used. Combining uh, hydrogen with uh, uh, CO2 plus water, you produce methanol. I and know. this process is a perfectly legitimate chemical process which is used by many people in various conditions. Yes. So therefore, it is quite clear that whenever you need a fossil fuel, you should uh, use uh, the CO2 from a, a liability to an asset transforming the CO2 in something you can reuse again. And in some situation, if your system is a, is a fixed system, you can reuse as many times. If it is a, a car, for instance, or a transportation system where a, a CO2 is re-emitted, you are re-emitted something you have recovered to start with, so you have kept this quantity of CO2 not lower, but constant, not rising. Therefore, the idea of using uh, the CO2 is certainly a necessity because a system based on, uh, on, once you have eliminated the CO2 at the level of the hydrogen, producing uh, natural gas into hydrogen plus, uh, uh, plus carbon, the, the hydrogen can then go and look for CO2 already spent, and with that you can construct methanol, which is a liquid that you can use as a, as a replacement of, of, of a transportation of a car or whatever you want. So therefore, those are all elements we come together in a very clear situation. The answer is the one you said, is to transform the CO2 from a liability into an asset. Now today, one ton of CO2 is worth $4. 
who the hell is going to pay $4 for four t one ton of CO2? Nobody. So the CO2 is, is, doesn't have a value, doesn't have a price. If we develop a use for the CO2, if the CO2 becomes an element which it transforms a gas into a liquid, then we have a possibility to do that, and therefore we should be able to get a price, a, a tag on that. And as I said, if you're using CO2 which already been accepted, spent for, that is something which not increase the main amount of CO2, but keep it constant. It's already a very important step.